My basic nature is someone who gets stressed out really easy and doesn't really know how to cope with it. Just over a month ago, I was talking with my mastermind group about this issue and asking for feedback on how to deal with stress, and one of them, Cam's Campbell, who also has a YouTube channel which you should definitely check out, recommended a practice to me called Morning Pages. He's been doing them for a while now, and he said they really help him to just stay centered and not get stressed out by all the worries and stuff that life tends to throw at us every single day. So I thought, hey, why not? I'll give this a shot. I love pens and paper, and so, you know, if I force myself to use them every single day, at least I'll get to use things that I enjoy. Now, over the past five to six weeks, I have completed 30 days worth of morning pages, a full month. Now, those weren't 30 consecutive days. I did take seven or so days off for various trips, including my backpacking trip, which I talked about in a previous video, uh, because I really didn't want to carry the journal and the fountain pen with me on that trip. But I do have 30 days done, so I thought this would be a great opportunity to talk a little bit about it and let you know if it has helped me at all and whether or not I'll be continuing the practice. But before getting to that, how about I take a step back and talk about, you know, what are morning pages for those of you who have never heard of it before. Well, morning pages are a concept that were really popularized by the author Julia Cameron in her book, The Artist's Way. At their core, morning pages are very simple. When you get up in the morning, you take pen and paper and you sit down and write out long form three pages worth of free flowing thoughts. Now, Julia recommends doing this long form versus typing out on a computer. I'm not exactly sure of her reasons for that, but hey, I like pens and I want to use them, so I was all for that. And I do know myself well enough that if I was sitting down and doing this in front of the computer, I would definitely get distracted. For me, I'm keeping them all in the Masubi A5 notebook, and I found that three A5 sides of the paper work really well for this. It takes me anywhere from usually 35 to 45 minutes to complete. And that's all there is to it. There's no real purpose to the notes. There's no concept, no idea you should be exploring. Instead, they are just free-flowing thoughts, whatever come to your mind. The idea behind this is that we all have these nagging thoughts and things that just like to bombard us throughout the day and interrupt our creative work in the case of what Julia Cameron is talking about, or really, frankly, just work in general. And so the plan is in the morning to sit down and write out all these thoughts, just kind of dump them out, get them out of your brain, kind of like David Allen's getting things done. So I thought, hey, you know, this sounds like a good idea and it has a decent chance of being successful for helping me just deal with and cope with stress as well as everything that's been going on in my to-do list over the past, you know, crazy summer months. So I thought, let's do it. Unfortunately, I don't really have firm concluding thoughts on whether or not it has been successful. And now looking back at it, I really do enjoy the fact that I have, you know, almost half a notebook full of beautiful ink and horrible handwriting and just, you know, thoughts and ideas and that I can look back on in the future. Uh, but I'm still at a loss as to whether or not this has helped me cope with stress. And it may be because over the past couple of months, my schedule was at the breaking point. And taking that 35 to 45 minutes to write in the journal really was pushing it especially because it's supposed to be done in the morning, a time period where I was already pretty booked from 6 to 10 a.m. with my normal morning routine. Looking back on it, I think I can definitely say that it helped me be a little bit more relaxed and a little bit more stress-free, as well as a little bit more focused during the workday. But I do think the extra 35 to 45 minutes that it took in the morning added enough extra stress that it kind of balanced itself out. If I was at a point where I already had a chunk of time free in the morning that I could dedicate to morning pages, I think it would have been a clear win. As it is now though, I don't know if I will continue with the practice. And I think that will be the real key for testing out the morning pages. I've talked to a number of other people who have done morning pages and they all say that it is not the days that they do the morning pages that they notice the difference, it's the days that they don't do them, where they have that added stress that they've just grown used to not having. And so I'm looking forward to this next month of really putting that to practice and seeing if I notice a difference on the days where I don't complete my morning pages because I am not planning on continuing with morning pages, at least not as regularly. I think I'm gonna shift it up a bit and go down to doing only two pages a day, which I think I should be able to reliably complete in about 20 minutes, which should fit into my schedule pretty nicely, and only do that on the days where I'm not stressed or really would appreciate the extra 20 minutes of sleeping in. But largely, that's not about the added de-stressing benefits. Instead, it's just about using my fun fountain pens and filling up a notebook with pretty colored ink. Have you done morning pages before? If so, I would really like to hear your thoughts, so please let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, till next time, which will probably be Apple-related videos because we're coming into Apple hardware release season. So, see you then. Bye.